I was a little concerned with Big Joe's weight. Today, we're also pulling lots of hair samples. 550. Dusty Baker with Cross Runners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. It is the spring roundup. We are here at the Ponderosa. Got the Dunbar herd worked and uh, get all the pins set up. Got all of the bison caught and then we are ready to roll. We've got over 40 animals to work here at the Ponderosa. So very excited. This one's going to be a little bit different though. We've got something new for you. And uh, let's just say it's a little bit different way of pushing the bison change some stuff up we don't know how it's gonna go we'll see doing it for the first time hope you guys are ready here we go you know strange what'd she do and she jumped over the front gate so uh, she shouldn't be in here she must have a crush on big joe or something i don't know what's going on this two-year-old heifer couldn't wait when we pulled up to the front she was already in this trap so marissa and i are about to go out into the hoss herd and uh, this one just couldn't wait I guess she's got a maybe a love affair or just didn't want to be away from Big Joe so she jumped our front gate here in our trap and she's uh was already here waiting on us so <laughs> we got to go back get the hoss group come up here she could join them much at that point now we're in column two-year-olds it's our two-year-old group where we've got 26 females and then we got our 27th is hoss and uh so that was good that we caught them year old heifer here already jumped the fence because she's in love with big joe i guess so um i'm gonna hop on the skid steer move some panels around a little bit and then uh we've got to get the big joe herd moved so doc is on the way doc is on the way Now that Doc's here, it's time to set up some of our freestanding panels. We're gonna hook Doc's hydraulic system up to our panels and get this show ready to go. It's about a 30 minute process to get everything set up, but with a lot of good help, good friends, we can get this thing knocked out, everything tied together, bolted down, and get it up and get it ready. And it's time to start bison ranching.
Today at the Ponderosa, we're using the same dewormer that we used for the Dunbar herd earlier this morning called Long Range. It's a simple dewormer, anti-parasite. We like to rotate our warmers, so we don't give the same warmer that we do in the spring in the fall. Here, Kevin is sorting out Big Joe herd into smaller increments so Jerry can push them with the skid steer. This will be the first time that the skid steer pusher will ever be used. Let's see how it works. We asked our good friend Jerry to drive the skid steer for us. So Jerry is in the skid steer, his first time running our skid steer. Here, we know that they're gonna recoil. They're gonna go down, they're gonna see the hydraulic squeeze chute, and they're gonna turn around and wanna come back. The skid steer can slowly push them down our lane here and then eventually stop and slowly move them and move them. This takes a person out of the situation. Instead of being on foot, you're using the skid steer pusher to push the bison in a safe manner. This also reduces the stress level of the animals, which is exactly what we want to do. Anytime that we work the bison, we try to improve to reduce their stress level. The idea is for Jerry to slowly push the bison into a smaller and smaller pen, eventually be forced into docks hydraulic system. The two hydraulic cylinders located on each side of the pusher, it allows the right and left wing to fold open and close to fit the width of our alley. Today, we're also pulling lots of hair samples. Some of our good friends, Stacy and Chase, came over. Chase, I think he planned on working, but Stacy <laughs> didn't know what she was getting herself into. We quickly assigned her a job helping Marissa. We're not collecting hair samples on all of them because some of them have already been registered. Most of our hair samples today will be taken from the Haas group, which consists of 27 two-year-olds. We've got some animals from South Dakota. We've got some animals from the Wolverine Bison in Canada. Also, we're gonna pull some hair on some of our own animals that we raised. Here in just a little bit. Big. 
I was a little concerned with Big Joe's weight. It looked like maybe he had been a little bit wormy more than the others. And so I was worried about his weight. And then whenever we were going to worm him, his hair is so thick. I was having trouble really making sure that I was getting the needle inserted into him. So I just let the professional do it and let Doc go ahead and give him his warmer. You do it, Doc. I don't feel like I, I want to get him because I know he's it's five. I did 15 just in case. Because I had a feeling that's way Yeah. You know what's crazy? Dunbar? Dunbar this morning weighed 1540. Yeah. Well, he's six. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and try it one more time on foot. If this didn't work, we're gonna to have to get this skid steer and possibly the Polaris out here in this corral. Let's see how it goes. This is a good place to stop, slow down, and let the animal settle down before we start pushing them again. Oh, 
<laughs> Little wild west. We got him. Okay. Go pull hair. I can. You're better. I mean, I can do it, but. No, that's not. I'll vaccinate. And... <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Yeah, I thought that was crazy. From here, this is where we like to keep them in separate pens. Because this herd has 27 in it, we want to bring them down with the skid steer in smaller increments instead of taking all 27 of them. So Kevin is in the back, cutting them and separating them in small groups, and then Jerry will push them down in the skid steer. We're pulling hair. I'm gonna read the number. I tell you what, hey doc, do I need their uh, RFID or just the tag number? Yeah, for the registry you will. For the registry? Is that the one I should use, Doc? Okay, we're gonna write this number down first. Zero three zero zero nine six one six two six. He is gonna pull hair, and we're gonna put it in there. So you can come up here, and he'll hand it to you, and you just shove it down in there. You ride her weight down? 134. In Canada. Yes, that's it. She's good. Texas 12. But you kept some for yourself, though, didn't you? In the last, oh, you already got them. Here's the process of how we get our hair samples. Once the animal enters the squeeze chute, and Doc's got them locked in, we'll get the weight. Marissa will write all their information down. I'll go ahead and give them their wormer shot. And then from there, Doc will be pulling hair straight from the very tip of the tail. I'll read the tag numbers to Stacy. She writes the tag numbers down on a brown envelope. Doc then will take the hair sample that Doc has pulled from the tail and we'll put it directly in the brown envelope. Seal it up. It'll have all the information on the brown envelope that includes the hair and then these samples will eventually be sent off to UC Davis. We'll be collecting over 25 hair samples today. So why do we collect hair samples? We collect hair samples so they can be sent to UC Davis where they'll be registered in the North American Bison Registry where we can link up our parentage and find out where they can be linked up and we can find out their dam and sire. Eight four zero 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 three two five one seven seven one four five seven. They're all gonna be heifers except for Haas. So just this is a Wolverine number. I was up there, you know, to get something different. But did he test okay? Yeah, he did. How much does he weigh? 1100. Yeah. Yeah, 1407. Oh, you got him. 
His hindquarters are so sucked in, I feel like, all the time. Yeah, that, that just... He's got woods in him, and that's just yeah. characteristic. Yeah. They're, they're big old frame, they grow, but it's just frame, they don't have no meat on Yeah, he would, he would monster, monster some of my bulls that weighs the same amount he weighs. But yeah. mine are thick and shorter. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's just bigger. Yeah. He's kind of a turd. Oh, really? Yeah. Get respect right now. Way to Denver and buy you a Wolverine bull. Yeah. Those, I wanted one of those yearlings this year. They looked awesome. Yeah. That one really did. 1508 hair. You gotta watch him. Or another another thing you could do is uh, they got a Wolverine bull or a mile wide son on their cat. That bull that they have right now? Mm -hmm. I saw him this summer. He is huge. Yeah, that's a that's a mile wide son. Is he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's big. Is he bigger than Dusty? Yeah. Not lazy. Really? Did you see how he just walked in there too? He don't care. Uh, now these don't need to go out there, right? No. So I need to get to shut We're going to shut that gate, Chase, and open that one over there. Okay. Now, they're probably going to be around in here, but they may go in there. All right. Yes. We're going to close it, get skate off. Get everything out, close it off, them out. And then we're going to, they'll eventually, I'll scare them over there okay. in that corner. Yeah. Uh, let me see what cap this is. Yeah, we're gonna go over there. Yeah, he's got it. 253. Thank you. Put him in the one that jumped the fence today. Yeah, I thought you were gonna open it. Oh, no. You got it? Oh, you can't see it, but that gay right there is bad. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll put hair on this one. Okay. She may not. Yeah, she doesn't. It's just 1505. Thousand pounds. When I showed up this morning, she was in here. She jumped that fence over or that gate, Bennett. I think she likes Big Joe. 550. 550. Doing good, Stacy. No, Didn't know you were gonna come to work, <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. We'll pull hair. This is 1500. This is Canada. We'll pull. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, 830. No. Oh. Yeah, this is Canada. One more hair. 1502. 
Well, this party ain't over yet. Cora, what'd you think about the working? I thought it went pretty well. You seem to be jazzed up a little bit. <laughs> Cora's first time with all the ruckus going on and everything. The work doesn't stop. We're about to go down here in the pasture and do something that I love to do, one of my most favorite things to do. I cannot thank my friends enough. Um, Marissa and I have some really good friends that uh, came to work. And Marshall, Chase and Stacy, Kevin, Kevin, of course, is part of uh, a lot of the stuff that we do with our bison, taking care of the Dunbar herd and whatnot. Jerry on the skid steer for the first time ever using the bison pusher, and it worked out so well. I also have to thank Doc and his grandson, Brandon. Doc's knowledge alone, just being able to sit here and talk to him and have him look at my animals is such a benefit, and uh, I can't thank Doc enough, and I'm so glad he always brings Brandon along. He is such a good hand. And of course, my beautiful wife, Marissa, the one that keeps me in check, the one that keeps me in line and reminds me when I'm screwing up. And <laughs> no, I really appreciate my wife for always being a part of this. And she's always writing down uh, weights and stuff, communicating with Doc and, and with Stacy today. So very thankful for Marissa being right there with me. I cannot thank Cole and Chandler enough. Those guys do an awesome job and they are hustlers. You don't see them that often but because those guys are running around, both working with two or three different cameras and a drone constantly um, the entire time. So I appreciate those guys. I love those guys for what they do for me and Marissa. Uh, we just enjoy everybody's company and uh, when it all comes to working bison. I uh, hope you guys are ready for it. You guys stay tuned for the next video that's coming around. Thank you guys for watching us.